I'm only 10. I just want to be a doctor or anything to help my people, my cat. I'm just a cat. I don't even know what to do. I get scared. I do anything for my people, but I don't know what to do. I'm just 10. I'm just 10. Look, Mommy. There's no plane up in the sky. What's going on in Gaza? None of us can stop, really, to think about it, because if we do, we just burst into tears, and we sit here all day, crying our eyes out and saying, shh, go away, pull yourself together. There's work to be done. You need to get out there again. Go out tomorrow. Get on social media. Keep telling people. Keep dinning it into people that there's a genocide being committed on your brothers and sisters, the Palestinian people. And it didn't start on October the 7th. They try and blame everything on Hamas. Did some of Hamas commit war crimes? Probably. It's 75 years they've been occupied. Let's get this absolutely straight. And this is what they're trying to string me up and the lamppost for saying, is that they have a legal and moral right to bear arms against the invader and the occupier of their land. They're upset it again. Go and get the ropes. Bring me up from the nearest land post. It's the truth. An occupied people have an absolute legal and moral right to resist the occupation. And this, this is a fact that is not bandied about when they talk about firing rockets into Israel, which almost never do any damage because they're very ineffectual. But it, it's the Israelis seem now to have a policy of pushing them, murdering so many of them that they are absolutely trying to create another intifada so they can make it an armed conflict where they're a thousand times, 10,000 times more powerful than the Palestinian people who are, they are hoping will arm themselves and young people gather together in bands and try and have an insurrection, an armed intersection, so they can just kill them all. The flames are all long gone.